Diamond ring, there it is, folks. We've got it. Oh, oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, it's water. Oh my god, the diamond ring looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, look at that. That is amazing. Oh my god, that. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, we've got it, folks, from here in Dallas. Look at that, that is insane, my goodness. Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and this is a little bit different, isn't it, folks? I am here in the city of Dallas, Texas, USA, and it is an important day today. We've been waiting a long time for this. It's the day of the Great American Eclipse of 2024. A total solar eclipse is gonna happen right over Dallas today but as you can see behind me we're looking towards downtown it looks rather hazy it's quite cloudy and uh, as I look up the sun is this way in fact I'm going to turn the camera around and show you now because we can actually see the sun through the cloud I don't know if you can see that but there's the sun at the moment I'm filming this at around about 11 a.m in the morning we're around about well, just under three hours before the total eclipse, before the moon passes in front of that sun and blocks it out completely. But I'm just going to put you back down. Now, obviously, um, it doesn't look too great at the moment, um, but we can see the sun. And if it stays like it does, if you get those breaks in the cloud, we will see something. Ideally, we would want blue skies, clear skies, and that's why I chose to come here to Dallas because it gave us the best chance of weather along the entire path of totality, which goes all the way from Mexico right up, in, up into uh, northeastern United States and Canada, yeah. So I've been to Dallas before. You might have seen a video of mine that, that I did after that I travelled to. to I, I said that I've been to Dallas before. So, um, yeah, so it, this was probably... The, the best spot but unfortunately sometimes you can't help the weather sometimes you do get this cloud i'll tell you what it's really warm at the moment it feels really really humid at the moment it feels a bit like florida actually yeah yeah so we're just gonna have to hope that we get the eclipse but what i will do is we're gonna head into downtown and we're gonna take in the atmosphere on eclipse day and if it's clouded out well it will go dark for about four minutes in fact it'll go dark for a bit longer than that but it'll go completely dark it's going to be very very weird a very strange experience and i'm going to be heading into downtown to see it they've got events going on there's parties and all that sort of thing we're going to head into downtown i've got some friends with me from germany who are going to be joining me so you might be able to see them as well along the way but yeah so now it's time to head into downtown it's still a little bit early but we'll take in some of the atmosphere <clears throat> okay so i'm going to wait for about an hour or so i'm going to meet up with my friends from germany and then we're going to head into downtown they've got all sorts of events going on we've got parks in the in the center different events going on all of all over the place for the eclipse i think it's going to be a really good atmosphere let's check it out right okay i am just leaving the hotel now and uh, it's now midday we're about an hour on from when I was talking to you last and my goodness, look at this, the sun is out. Oh my goodness, we might be in luck, folks. Look at this. Is it going to stay out for the eclipse? So we're still about two and a half hours away. It's midday here in Texas now and look at this now. Look, whoa, we can actually see the sun. It's around about 20 minutes away from when the moon makes first contact right now and well, i want to try and bring it as much as i can if i can't bring you the if the clouds do roll in for the total phase then i'm just going to do my best and bring it as much as i can we did see glimpses of the sun before through the cloud of course as well from the hotel and we could see that but uh, yeah but we're just going to have to see what happens folks but at the moment i wish it was the eclipse right now because it's clear we can see the sun oh amazing anyway gonna head into downtown now and check it out and see what's going on there it's gonna be a nice atmosphere 
Right, we're just going to stop here for a few seconds. A few people around here. Someone's got a telescope over there with a filter on it. Uh, first contact is any second now. Yeah. Sorry? Somebody, you know, that's number two right there. Number, oh, <laughs> that's not very good, is it? Is it really? Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyway, we're just going to stop here a bit. Hopefully, we'll see first contact. Contact in about two minutes. Two minutes? Two, two minutes from first contact. <laughs> I'll put on my glasses, my safety glasses. First contact in 60 seconds. Ooh, we've got a speaker system here telling us when first contact is going to happen. Oh. We're waiting for first contact, folks. All right. After this, I'm going to head into downtown. When we see a bit of this, we're going to head further more into downtown. So we're about to see the first contact, the first point of contact between the moon touching the sun's surface. And the whole event lasts for... I yeah, think it lasts three for... Three minutes and 50 seconds here. Do you know how long the event lasts for altogether? The entire three, eclipse? Three hours, yeah. About an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. The totality will be about three minutes, 50 seconds. Not seeing anything just yet, but it's just seconds away from the moon touching the sun. And we're so pleased to be able to see it because this morning we had those clouds. It was complete cloud cover and we didn't think we were going to see anything. But thankfully, at least we'll get to see the first contact and hopefully it'll we've stay clear contact. for first the... contact. I believe we've just got first contact. I can't see anything at the moment. There are some very light clouds just rolling across the sun. Near a helicopter. Cloud just rolling across at the moment. Check this out. I'm just going to put some video on the screen now of that I took with my iPhone. Would you believe it? And how I got that video was by putting my solar eclipse glasses across the lenses of the iPhone. I think I've showed how to do that in a previous video. I'll probably put a link to that at the end of this one, but I managed to get that shot by putting these over the lens of my smartphone. You have to be very careful though when, you, when you're looking at the sun. Do not look at the sun with the unaided eye. You must use safety glasses like this. Not welders glasses, not sunglasses, nothing like that. You've got to be very, very careful with the sun. Don't take any chances. Anyway, let's head downtown. Check out this monument here, wow. That is amazing, look at that there. I wonder if it's made out of gold. Oh, look at all these people here, wow. It still needs to stay out for another 35 minutes, 45 minutes maybe, so that we can see totality. Look at it. People everywhere, look at this. Look at all these people down here, somebody, they look. <laughs> There won't be sunbathing during the eclipse because the sun will be blocked. Wow. Oh, this is getting very busy now, folks. I hope I can get through up here. I want to get through to the other side if I can. Someone talking up the traffic. Up here, look at that. There, look. Wow. Wowzers. So we'll carry on past all these people if I can get past them. It's particularly busy at this spot here. That is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, folks. We must be about halfway in. We are about. We are about halfway in, folks. Yes, to the eclipse. Hi. You okay? 
Oh, the glasses? You can, you can probably get some. If you ask someone, you probably, I'd like to, if I had a spare pair, I'd give you them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you'll get some off someone. I was just telling that lady there, she was wondering where I got my glasses off. Now, I did come with spare glasses, but I couldn't find them at the last minute. I would have given her a pair if I had some. Uh, hopefully, she will find some. But, uh, now, look at this now. Some skyscrapers going on now. Can I get it with a really big building? Okay, so I am now here in downtown. Check out these skyscrapers here. And you know, it is a little bit quiet around here. In fact, it's a lot quieter where I am now. There's not as many people around, but I want to try and capture the sun with these massive buildings right here. Can I do it? We need it to be clear at totality. So we're now about 10 minutes away from the total phase of the eclipse and it's definitely gone cooler here in downtown Dallas. Yeah, I've got all my cameras set up. In fact, I've got so many cameras set up, I need one to film me. I've got cameras all set up here. Now, the, obviously, I told you the reason I've come here is because I want to try and get the eclipse with these buildings. So, yeah, so that's hopefully what, what I'm going to get. 10 minutes to totality. I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely is getting a lot darker here in downtown Dallas. The sun is blazing now. It's really, really clear, but my goodness, it is looking kind of weird now. I'm just looking at my shadow. Let's have a look at my shadow. There you go. Right. There you go. Look at that now. The countdown is on. You'll have to excuse this folks, but I'm just using my phone to film myself now because I've got my other cameras set up filming the eclipse. Now we're only five minutes away, five, five minutes, minutes until away. totality. Yes, five minutes away. You can actually see if I glimpse at the sun. Don't do this, don't try this at home. Don't glimpse at the sun. Don't look at the sun without um, safety glasses, but you can actually see the chunk taken out. We're, we're less than five minutes away from totality here in downtown Dallas. My goodness, look at this. It's getting dark. I can tell it's getting dark. I don't know if you can, but it's certainly looking kind of dull at the moment. Look at that. Wow. And we still can't focus on it with the camera though because uh, it's still a little bit too bright. So the sun, even though we've got about 95% of the sun covered up, it's still too bright for this camera, but I'm picking up on the other cameras. And we are going to get totality, folks. Oh my goodness, how weird is this now? It's looking so dark. I don't know if you can tell, but my goodness, it is looking so strange here now that the sun is more than 95% covered. We are now less than five minutes away. And look at this, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if my camera's compensating for the light, but it is so dark. It is weird. I think, I don't know if you can tell, but I think the camera's overcompensated and uh, it probably doesn't. Oh, I can tell you what, it looks so strange. Look at that. And it's still too bright to film. Wow. Now there's another effect you can get during a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse. You can get what they call shadow bands. Can you see that on that car there? Shadow bands, we've got shadow bands, folks. Can you see? I don't think that's cloud. That, those are shadow bands that are running across the hood of this car. Can you see that? How strange is that, folks? Shadow bands. Look at that from the total eclipse of the sun. We're not, in fact, we're not even in the total eclipse phase yet. Yeah, we're just before it. So these, these shadow bands are what you get just before the sun is completely obscured by the moon. How about that? We've got shadow bands. There you go. Look at that, folks. There's a lady over here shouting, "Thank the Lord! Thank the Lord!" <laughs> Look at 
that! That is amazing! Oh my god! That! Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness, we've got it folks from here in Dallas! Look at that! That is insane! My goodness! I cannot, oh, I am absolutely, 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 amazing. I've just absolutely, 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 it's like dust, look, the building don't like it. Look, look at this one here, this is a tallest building in the in Dallas. Look at that. I can see Bailey's beads, what are those prominences on the sun? That is absolutely spectacular. Look, this, this is even better than the last eclipse I saw. And that was absolutely awesome. That was in Casper. My goodness, folks, this is amazing. Just look at this. We're well into the eclipse now. Here's a look around. Look at this. Wow, it's going to be all over soon. So we need to try and do as much as I can. It's coming back out again, folks. Oh my God, that's it. We just saw another diamond ring. That's it. Oh, totality is over. My goodness. Oh my god, that was absolutely awesome. You know what, I went to see the total eclipse in Casper, Wyoming and I cannot remember it being quite as spectacular as that. I only hope I got a good picture. I've come here to these skyscrapers. I wanted to get a picture of these massive skyscrapers with the eclipse and look at it now. The sun is starting to poke out and now we can see the shadows again. In fact, look at the shadow bands. Shadow bands on the car. Can you see that? Look at that, folks. That is amazing. Shadow bands. Wow. And that's another feature of an eclipse, folks. You get these very strict, they're, un they're unknown. They don't know why they do it. They don't know why that happens. Yeah, so they don't know why those shadow bands occur, but they do. And we could clearly see them on the bonnet of that car. I made a note to, to remind myself to look for shadow bands. So, uh, we got them, we got pretty much everything. We got the, the shadow bands before the eclipse. We got perfect weather for the eclipse. It turned out to be absolutely perfect. No clouds for the eclipse at all. We got to see the corona, absolutely amazing. It went pitch black. The diamond ring was unbelievable. The, honestly, the diamond ring was the best. It was better than the one in Casper. It was absolutely insane. Oh, I think I need to go and lie down now. Well, the sun has come back out again here in Dallas. It's brightening up again. Look, it's brightening up a bit. That's what we say back home. Oh my God, I went, honestly, I lost it a bit there, folks, I have to say. <laughs> You've probably heard me screaming. That was insane. It was absolutely epic. My God, and I've seen an eclipse before, and quite honestly, it didn't. That one, that, this one that we just saw today, it, Honestly, the diamond ring, that's when the, the moon almost, but not quite, covers the sun. You get that glint on one side. That seemed to last for ages. It seemed to last for about, I don't know, 20 seconds or more. It was absolutely insane, folks. You could just hear it in my voice. It was epic. Oh, my God. And there we were this morning, worried that we weren't going to see it at all. And you know what? When it, when it came to the total eclipse, the, it's, it's like the sky's completely cleared altogether. It's unbelievable. Maybe there's someone up there, someone up there looking, looking down on me. But yes, we got it, folks. And oh, but if I come down now, <laughs> Oh my God, it was insane. And just watching everything go dark so quickly. It was like, well, it was, it was a big shadow, the shadow of the, the moon coming right over. It travels, it was traveling across America. It's on its way now towards the Northeast. It's heading towards Cleveland, Niagara Falls, and it's going to head up towards Canada. It started in Mexico, I think. I think started in Mexico on land, and now it got to us and it's got past us and well, who cares? I hope they get to see it up there. I know the weather was looking better up there than it was down here. 
but we got to see it right here in Dallas. Just like when I first heard about the eclipse, I said, right, I'm going to Texas. And um, we got it, we got it, folks. We even saw those amazing shadow bands. Now, they're a bit mysterious. I fortunately had this white SUV, it's a GMC Denali, next to me, and I, I reminded myself on my phone, I had a reminder to say, look out for the shadow bands, because there's those wavy lines you get just before the moon eclipses, when it's around about 98, 99%, something like that. And you get those mysterious shadow bands, and you also get them when it goes off the other side. So we got to see them as well. So we even got to see the shadow bands as well. Absolutely amazing. You know what, I could go on all, all day here talking about what an experience that was. It was just incredible. You cannot, I mean, I hope I brought it to you. I've brought it to you. I have brought the totality, the I have brought the experience to you of a total eclipse of the sun here in downtown Dallas as good as I can. And I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. Uh, I certainly did. Oh my goodness. I like I said, I think I, go and, I think I need to go and have a lie down now. So I'm going to leave it there now, folks. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. <sighs> right. What do I do now? Uh, bye.